Alright, so we are actually going to cut our diaphragms out of some aluminum soda can because in my testing with this horn that I just completed, the soda can performed the best. The plastic material was actually too strong to get a good, uh, a good resonance, a good vibration. So I tried the double layer soda can and that performed really good. So that's what we're going to use. So go ahead and take that other ring that you just cut out, the one that's just over an inch long. After you've cut open a soda can, place it really tightly down on the top and just use a pencil to mark the edge around it. And we're going to use just regular scissors to cut it out. Take a small cylindrical object such as your bell tube and kind of wrap the diaphragm material around it a little bit to flatten it out. Make it a little easier to cut out. And cut out on the inside edge of the line you drew because it's a little bit outside of the pipe diameter. So take the horn body you just glued, drop it down on the inside, and you don't want it to hit the wall at all because when you clamp it in there it'll it'll kink, it'll crease. So kind of look at where it hits the wall and then remember that, take it out and trim those edges. Drop it back down in there. Still hitting a little bit. That should be good. Perfect. Okay, so now take the other square that you just cut off and wrap it around the bell tube also. And then just place the other diaphragm over it and cut right around the outside of it, holding it down really tight. So go ahead and take some of that weather stripping we were talking about earlier, peel back some of the cover, and then just start wrapping it around the outside of the diaphragms. Try not to make it stick out past the side. You want to keep it ever so slightly inside the outer edge of the diaphragm and that'll make it easier to go down to the horn. Take your scissors and cut it off a little oversized and then trim it to the perfect length. and then meet them up as closely as you can. So there's one of your diaphragms, and then do the same exact thing with the other one. Try to put the weather stripping on the side with the logo, or all the color, because then when you put it in your horn, the weather stripping goes on the inside, so the silver part will be facing out, and it looks better than having all the colors and stuff. Unless you like that for some reason. I don't. Alright, there you have your two diaphragms. So now what you want to do, take your horn body, drop the first diaphragm down in there, carefully. Make sure the weather stripping goes up against the pipe that's down in there. Take your second one, drop it down weather stripping first. And now we're ready to take your clamping ring and push it down. Alright, so here's where our vise comes in handy. 
go ahead and open it up pretty far and take two pieces of wood, scrap pieces, if you have wood. If not, you can use a rag or something like that. So with your diaphragms all the way in, make sure they're not touching the wall at all. So they're completely prepared. You take your longer piece of two inch PVC, the one that's about an inch and a quarter or an inch and an eighth long, and take the smoother side, which for me is this one. Make sure your diaphragms are down in there. And then put that piece of PVC down Press down on the foam just a little bit, and then put the horn body in between the two pieces of wood, and go ahead, tighten it just a little bit, that should be good. You don't want to completely bottom out the foam, but you want it to be really compressed. So now take your drill, and if you have a quarter inch tap, use a 7 30 seconds bit. But if you don't have a tap, you should probably use a 15 64 bit. Definitely don't use a quarter inch bit though, because your threads won't bite at all. So you kind of want to put your hole somewhere in the middle of the length of pipe that's inside the fitting. So I have about 0.3 inches sticking out and my piece was about 1.2, 1.1 inches, which leaves about 0.8 inches inside the fitting. So I want my hole to be about 0.4 inches from the edge. So mark that length on the side of the fitting. So I got that length marked on the side of the fitting. And now I'm going to drill it. Now if you're going to tap it, this would be a good time to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and tap mine quarter inch threads. You can also put the bolt in now. So let's mark our 0.4 inches. Straight in horizontally. Once again, tapping isn't completely necessary, so if you don't have a tap, you don't want to buy one. Even if you do have one and you don't want to use it, you don't have to. I just do it because it makes threading easier. So get your bolt started. There it grabbed. Tighten it in. And you can kind of use the other bolts as a reference. So look at it from the top. Kind of eyeball where the 90 degrees are. And then follow those holes down to the side. So I kind of, I was kind of off with that hole, but it really doesn't matter. This hole's going to be somewhere around right there. You can also do that from the beginning too, that'll help. It doesn't matter how precise these holes are though. Go ahead and tighten those down. Go ahead and take it out of the vise, and you're pretty much finished. So now take your bell tube and wrap it with some Teflon tape.
put it back in your horn. So now comes the fun part. Take out your test fitting. And you're ready to test it.